Camden Market, one of the largest markets in London. Thousands of people visit this market each week, and it has been rated the largest tourist attraction in Great Britain, according to recent research. Camden Market has become famous for its street fashion, as well as its arts and crafts and antiques. There are many hidden secrets, and today we are revealing what I consider to be the best hidden treasure, Gallery 46. This is where artist Vincent Jonet exhibits some of his artwork along with a studio where he creates his masterpieces. So let's take a journey into his gallery where we will chat with him as well as look at the artwork. There's an old motor from a uh, hairdryer. There's a, a chip 
circuit chip from a computer. The TV is a functional TV, but it's just de uh, detuned, so that this is sort of a special effect. Uh, there's miniature fans, toys, counters. So it's, again, it's the shape and form that makes it into something more than just a found object as such. Hopefully, when you see my work, you see the work first, then upon closer inspection, you see the jump set. I guess I'm a satellite communications engineer, technician, so I'm trained in electronics. So when I do work with the electrical aspect of it, I don't have to actually think, well, does this wire go here, or does that, how do you do that? So it's all spontaneous in that regard. And I don't make plans. I don't sit down and draw out a diagram of what's going to what's going to happen. I just have the pieces around my work area. And uh, it's all extemporaneous, spontaneous. It just sort of grows. Do you basically know what you're using when you start a piece, like if you see a TV? I kind of know that that's a know, TV when I see it. Well, yeah, but when you see a TV, <laughs> <laughs> do, do you already have in your mind what Sometimes, you yes. Make out um, sometimes a piece would. Uh, if you can zoom in later on, I'll show you with the camera. Like some of these circuit boards that are standing up in front of the TV, it, uh, that's a computer chip laid down on the circuit board. It's functional, but raised up. Then it looks like a little skyscraper. Yeah. So from that perspective, again, it's the shape, the form, that I see in a different way than what it originally was intended for. Consequently, one can shape, arrange, put here and there, and you have something totally different. motors, magnets, pulleys, part of a VCR. That looks like an engine on a oh. spaceship. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. <whistles> oh, you can turn it this way. Now, this is just a common speaker, yeah? Again, shape or form, which comes first, form or function. If you look at it like this, it could be radar. Mm. Or if I hold it like this, now listen. What is it now? Spaceship. A UFO. So again, it depends on how you look at a piece of junk. What, what is it about the art that interests you or, or stimulates you? It's humanity. It's very humanity. Mm. You know, so I would actually, um, I like the art pieces work. Mm. Right. Yeah. He likes the colors. When I came in here and looked at it, it was like crash. I'd never seen this stuff before. It didn't start me off thinking down that was like. I mean, what I could see was uh, a few small electric motors with pulleys and then part of the innards of a computer ripped out and stuck on and painted. I mean, uh, you, could, you could call it art, but uh, not for me. How do you feel? Do you consider it very creative in this season? Well, it's very, very creative um, because what Bill starts is a spontaneous art form. Just uh, everything he, uh, he creates from what is at hand. So it's one of those art forms that it's impossible to duplicate. Mm. Most other art forms, you can get someone to actually copy it. Mm. But with Vince's art, it's almost impossible yeah. unless you are able to find all those bits and pieces. Yeah. It's great. Uh,
similar to perhaps the Enterprise. Yeah. Again, different shapes and forms.